Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, this is Alex Fresco and today we will keep uh, looking at the modifiers uh, and more specifically we will see offset and join, how they work. Let's start with the offset. When you have a geometry you can uh, select it, click uh, on offset and let's see the options uh, that are available here, which, which they are. So, as usual, we have enabled copy. That is, uh, uh, you know, if you want to keep the original as it is right now, you can enable the copy and uh, it will uh, create uh, an extra one, leaving the original as it is. Then what we have, of course, the offset from the original. So in this case, it will be 10 millimeter because as you can see here, I'm using the software in metric. Otherwise, we can change it. If you want 20, you just specify 20 or, or whatever it is, 25. So that is the offset from the original. Then uh, what you can do also, uh, specify the number of repetitions. So if you want to repeat this offset only one time, you can just leave one, which is the default for uh, this uh, function. Otherwise, you can select two, three, or whatever it is. One more thing to say, uh, internal or external. So these repetitions can be internal. So going inside the original geometry or going outside. And then fill it. So in case of non-tangent uh, segments, if you want to round the corners, you can just enable fill it. And as you can see, for all the repetitions, it will round up the corners. Now probably you are going to say which one is the radius that is used for uh, this fillet. That uh, is exactly the offset you are using from the original geometry. So in case of the first one will be 25 millimeter radius. In case of the second one will be 25 plus 25, so 50. And then of course 75 and, and so on in case of more repetitions. So, what uh, is the join function? So, let's say that we create something like this. So, let me go in drawing. Let me start with the line. Oh, ortho is enabled, so let me disable it. We create a line, then we switch to an arc. Remember, we, we have already seen uh, how to use the OSNAP, so I'm gonna just snap the end point to create an arc. Then what we can do, we can uh, go back, uh, no, let me use another arc, snap the end. And let me close it with the line. So as you can see now we have all separate elements, right? One, two, three and four geometries, four different geometries. If we want to join them together in order to create the polyline, we can select them all and go modifiers and click join. You have different options. So based on what you uh, select here, we'll join the geometries in a different way. If we select length, uh, it will join the geometry uh, obtaining the longest path. With distance, uh, it will create a polyline using shortest elements. And tangency, it will create polylines uh, out of only tangent elements. In my case, I'm going to just select and leave distance, which is the default. 
and then here we have uh, that is uh, always on but uh, we also have uh, the possibility to select and maintain all the geometries uh, on the same layer and in case there's, there was some of the geometries created with uh, variables so uh, parametric it will maintain the parametric we can confirm and now you can see that is a single closed polyline. This is it for today. We will keep looking at the modifiers on the next videos. Thank you for watching.